Okay, so for this project, we're using for the sky. For now, the, starting for the, the sky part, we're gonna use white, ultramarine violet, and cerulean blue. So with the sky, the best way to have this soft, um, blend of colors is to take white. So we have to switch back and forth between ultramarine violet and blue. Even, even, if, we, if, even if we start with ultramarine violet and white. Leal, we can't see the colors that you're mixing. Thank you. Right here, right there. Let me see, I can't, uh, uh, I might be able to do this. Uh, all right. Can you see them now? Yeah. Okay. A little bit, you. a little bit more. Can you move the, the colors a little closer to your board there? Thank yeah. you. There. All right, I'm gonna put some, a bit of water on my tip of my brush. I'm dipping my, the tip of my brush in water. Now it's not gonna happen probably the first, the first layer, but that's okay. Don't put too much water. So you're putting more white than anything else. Purple for now. Purple or purple. Yeah, I mean, sorry, what, what did you say? I'm putting what? It's mostly white and purple. Mostly for now, a bit of, yeah. White mostly with a bit of purple in it. I could have kept the, this part white, but I think it's easier to transition from the soft blending of the color for the sky into the, the, the forest here, the, the greens in here, if we are working on something some that, that this color here. I personally don't like to work on white and I really don't want to divide my canvas into um, white and then, you know, highlight um, uh, darken only this or put burnt umber only here. I, I just want the whole thing to be primed first with a wash of burnt umber and then work on that because that's easier. It's easier this way. I mean, it's easier for me, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna keep an eye on where those trees are. So we have the strong, strong trees down here, which is right there. We can always add this in the back later on because this is a, just a shadow silhouette. Using a wider brush a wide brush is helps. <coughs> the colors are fantastic. Uh, the purple, right? The purple, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're gonna increase the amount of purple in there in a, in a minute. Push, push, push in, into, I'll show you in a minute what I mean. Push in here, your white down. Make it look kind of fluffy, uh, no hard edge. Because we're going to transition into trees.
I already lost my my uh, uh, architectural detail, but that's okay. Uh, that, yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. You we'll can put it back. There's not a lot of it, so it's okay. It's not mainly architectural detail, so that's all right. So some of it has, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, quite a bit of purple, some, some less purple with more whites. Now, now I'm gonna start paying attention to where colors are gonna go. So this is good, this is awesome. I have a really good background. So my colors are drying very fast. Now I'm gonna start looking a bit more at the reference, pay more attention. I'm gonna take blue with white. Even if your brush has purple on it, that's okay. That's, the, that's why this, uh, the, the reference is beautiful because it has a play of purples and blues. And, and I'm gonna come here and with my brush, and it, it, really don't worry because another layer is coming over, over this. Use your, br your, your brush gently. Um, my brush is on an angle down. It's, let me show you. It's this way. It's not that way. It's this way. You know when you're uh, putting butter on your um, your toast. That's yeah. how it. Yeah. This is how I'm using my brush. We're just using blue and white right now. Yeah, blue and white. Blue and white right now. Now I'm I'm coming over here and I see more purple. I'll show you where. It's more blues, and I'm going to here. That's a little bit more purple with my blue and white. And I'm gonna switch. Actually, I can see it here. I can see it because of the purple and underneath. So it's perfect. Okay, let's take white and blue and I'm just dipping the, just the tip, just the tip of my brush in water, not the whole thing. Cause you have to make sure that, we have to make sure that our brush doesn't have too much water. We're working with layers. And if this layer, first layer is not completely dry, it will lift if we have too much water on, my br on the brush. And that's why you have to use a gentle kind of brush stroke. This is a bit more blue. I'm seeing more blue now. I have purple underneath, which is perfect. I'm seeing more blue, a bit more blue with my purple. Gonna come over here. We're gonna have trees in here. So we're gonna have some, some greens eventually. Should look like a pastel. I'm going back and forth, back, okay, like this. Now, let's see, corner of my brush, I'm softening all this. 
with these colors. Stick some a bit more purple in here. Whenever you go over a color that's not completely dry, very, very soft touch. It's like you're using a you're using a, a feather, otherwise it will lift. It will lift the color underneath. If it lifts the color underneath, it's not a big deal. It's just we have to wait for it to dry, to go over and fix it. Layal? Yes. Are you the head dryer, huh? Yes. Go for it. Good idea. What you said? He's using a hair dryer. Hair dryer. Oh, okay. I'm going to give you time to do this. All right, so now we're just going to start adding white, this area here, this part right here, all the way down, you know, up here, just a very soft white. So I have white here on my palette. And I'll pick up white. And I'm gonna pick up a tiny bit of blue with the white. So it's not 100% white. It has a hint, a hint of blue in there. Let's see if I need a bit of water so my color is not too harsh. Pushing my color around. Sorry, what are you using now, Leo? I'm using white with a bit of blue in it. A hint of blue. any gesso? No, no gesso. No. Just white with a bit of blue. We'll do the same again. I'm just dipping my tip, the tip of my brush in water, and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to take a bit of more blue in here, tiny bit more, and then the same here. Clear gesso maybe might have worked. I have a, you know, I suspect that maybe it might have worked better if the first layer was completely dry. Like if I did it tomorrow, it would have worked. But now, even using with the, you know, I used a dry, the hair dryer, 
it's still the the, the paint the, the underneath is still wet. Picking up a bit of blue, a bit of purple, and with white. I'm just putting it here, pushing my colors around to blend softly. Very soft hand. Don't dig your color in. This is the hardest part in this project. Really? Mm. Maybe the, the, it's easy. The, the water too. It's, well, what, water is going to be easier. You know, I, I, I think it's going to be easier than this. This is really kind of, you know, to have that soft, misty background, uh, it's not easy. You should say, you promise? Yes, I was about to ask you and say, did you promise? <laughs> but that's okay. We know now. Oh. I will wait for it to dry 100% yeah. tomorrow and I'll add another layer of soft white um, or I'll do it next week so you can see how I would do that. 100% um, dry. Um, I would take a lint-free rag or you know something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dip it in white and then just go in and push my color around. But we'll do it next week because it's to be 100% dry. Let's leave it like that for now and then we can work on this area where there's the uh, trees. We have the trees. This. Okay. Sap green now, we're adding sap green. We have ultramarine violet, cerulean blue, white, and we're adding sap green so we can do the green part where there's our trees in here. And actually this is, I think in, in, in um, real life, this is really um, trees all the way back. And I think there are some mountains but there are also trees. So I'm just mixing, I'm softening my color with the corner of this brush. I need texture too. You don't want it to make it too flat because then it won't look like, you want to make it look like there's greenery in there. So a bit of texture in there. I'm not worried about the color. If it's too dark, too light, it doesn't matter because I can glaze up everything after. I can put a glaze over. Oh, that's nice. There's some purple in here now. But I have texture. I have, it looks like, should look like trees.
Some areas will have green blue, some areas will have purple blue, a purple green. You see, no, it doesn't matter what we're doing right now. I mean, we can next week when it's completely dry, or you know, by tomorrow we can do that. We can glaze all this with white. Acrylic dries harsher too. It really dries harsh. I think I would like to borrow that white gesso. White gesso? Clear gesso. Clear gesso? Put the white gesso. Cover it up. Yeah. Why? It's too dark? Yeah. That's okay. It doesn't matter. If it's dark, it doesn't matter. In fact, sometimes it's better if it's dark. Can I ask something? You cannot see blue at all. You see only green. Yeah. Where? The, the things that you are painting right now. Yes, there is blue. In mine, the blue isn't showing up 
Only the green is. But we are not. Yeah. We are cutting. I know. I know the blue, and it's not as dark as you see right now. It's the camera. I, I'm trying to. Um, I can see on my my on the camera shows a lot of. Um, it, it makes it look harsher than it is. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's not that harsh. Are we going on the top with blue again? I'm mixing my blue with the green. It's not just blue. No, no, no. You said the, um, uh, the other one. The... Oh, the... Ultramarine? Ultramar yeah, uh, yeah, cerulean? Yeah, ultramarine. Yes, ultramarine yes. violet. Yes, yes. I'm using ultramarine violet as well. Also. Oh. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's layering. It's layering. Okay. <laughs> I'm I have so why... much paint, it's just all going gooey now. Okay, don't just, just leave it to dry. That's okay, leave it to dry. Let it dry. And it will be okay when once it's dry, it'll be easier to work over it. Because if it's, too, if it's dark, that's not a problem at this point. Okay, so after we did all of this kind of soften the top of the trees, the forest in here, and get it to kind of blend. What I'm doing is I'm taking white and I'm putting blue in my white and some purple. And I'm just going over with the corner of my brush softly, softly over this. So blue, white, this is kind of a darker blue. It's not very light blue. And with the corner of my brush and I'm, oh, why is it doing that? I'm putting a bunch of blues and purples over the greens. And I can see still the green. It's not that I, I can't see them, but now I'm refining what I did. I am going a bit more into detail. So it needs to be, we need to be a bit uh, patient with this kind of painting. And refine, refine. See how beautiful now? That looks amazing now. It really looks beautiful. The strokes is uh, from top to bottom, right? Yeah, yeah, like this. With the corner of my brush. With the corner of your brush. Yes. Okay. yes. And they're short strokes. Yes. Right? So it's not like from here to here. Short ones. Short yeah. ones, what will happen if we do short ones will... Uh, create texture, layering yeah. and texture. Yeah. So if you hated what happened before because it was like a mess, that's okay. It's the first layer. Then we go and refine over it. We go over this. So is this in addition to doing the glaze later on? Yes. Yes, we will be glazing all this. So you're putting another layer of that mixture in there. Yes. Over the green, all of the green, not just mm -hmm. at the top. All of the green, oh. all of the green I have. I prepared the canvas with a layer of a bunch of greens, right? Or green with purples and blues. And, and now I'm going back and I'm refining all this with blues and purples on top with a bit of white corner of my brush, up and down, very soft. Now it looks, and I, I honestly don't want it to look exactly the same. I, it doesn't matter, it just, it's just, a, it's color, it's color, that's it. It's all I'm doing. Okay, I have to be careful not to go, once I start going up, I'm gonna add more white. Okay, let's stay here. Let's stay in here. Let's not jump into, go up and down. Let's go, down here, I need to have darks. OK. 
Okay, that's good. If you keep a bit of green showing, that'd be great. Keep a bit of green showing. By itself? Yeah, just green. If you see green, there's a bit of green in here. I can see green still. Like I'm not trying to cover the green completely, but I'm adding in between the green, some purples, some blues, uh, soft in there. So if, if I cover, because you know, you're, you're, you're telling the viewer that there is a forest in there, like there's, there are trees in there. So if we cover the green completely, the viewer cannot won't See understand the... what's yeah won't understand what's going on. But if we keep some green showing, and it's a soft green. Whoever is looking at this, the viewer when they're looking at this, they're gonna say, oh okay, so there's there are trees in there. Okay. Is it better to wait for it to dry before we do? Yes, it? if yes, if you are struggling with with the color and the texture and it's not doing what you want it to do, yes, wait for it to dry. I should wait for it to dry too. I'm just gonna soften the uh, tip, the top of the, and it, when, it, when it's completely dry, it's easier to, to glaze, to add, uh, you know, different other, different uh, textures, uh, whatever we want to do in there. It's easier. When it's dry, it's very hard with acrylics. Okay, this is kind of dry in here, this part. Are you on the other side of the steeple now? Mm -hmm. no, Are I'm, you? Yes, yes, I'm going, I'm coming here. This is the steeple right here. And you're using white, blue, and purple. I'm going to be using now a bit of white mixed with a bit of water you know, white mixed with water, because now it's dry, I can do that. Right there, just just kind of like a glaze, just a bit. So right there, it's not gonna lift, hopefully. Sorry, I don't mean to keep asking the same no, thing. That's white. just white. that's just white. Just white. Just white. Uh, I'm trying not to. I'm trying very hard not to lift the color underneath. I really, really shouldn't be doing this right now, but I'm being very impatient, and I'm taking a risk with the corner of my brush, white, and I'm just doing a circle, circle movement, circle. But I can see now that, uh, if the, the um, color underneath is completely dry, whatever I do on top will work. But right now, the color underneath is kind of like going crazy. 
All right. White is not very opaque. So even if you use white over the color underneath, it will be fine. It's not opaque. Let's put some purple in here. A bit of, I'm, I'm putting a bit of purple with the, with the white in here. Touch, very small amount, yeah. Actually, it's really nice with purple. Are you doing it all the way up or just in that area? Just in that area. I'm preparing for these, those trees. Oh. Just this. You know, actually it will look nicer with purple, the white, instead of just white. And, and you know what? I'm gonna take a blue, blue as well now. Blue, purple, so every time you look at a part of this, these clouds, you will see a different shade of blue or purple, you know, it's not just one color. Perfect, that's working really nice. See, because this is dry, it's, it's easier. Same here, once it's dry, it's gonna be easier to glaze all this. All right. Is it my recording? Yeah, I'm recording. All right, let's take a smaller brush. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to push my white, white and purple and blue that I'm using right now into, I'll just put some that's a beautiful purple in here, down here. Although we are going to be using dark color in here. I just want to make sure that I don't have a harsh line right there. That's purple and white? Purple, white, and a bit of blue as well. So I got a beautiful purple in here. I'm gonna take the same thing, purple, white, some blue. A hint of trees in the back. You know what? I'm going to add, let's add a bit of green in here as well in this pastel color that I'm, that we have. Oh, that's very nice. Is your purple color dark? No. Why are you saying dark? It looks darker on the screen. <clears throat> My purple? Yeah, the one that you're using right now. No, it's 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 a purple. It's it's purple right there. White. 
touch of blue, because this is what I was using before. And then I added a bit of green in it. Or to, to do the, the peaks or to do the... The trees and those trees in the back, you see a, you see a bit of, you know, a, a, a silhouette of this tree, those trees. Okay. And, and I am going to glaze them eventually more. So whatever I do right now is going to be glazed. I'm adding more whites in here. Because I know I can see they disappear. And then to make them disappear, it's white. Soften them. The problem with acrylics is that it, it dries darker. So whatever you do, you think that you're putting the right color and it's good, it looks good. And as soon as it, it's dry, it goes dark. So you, keep on, you have to keep on adjusting and ad adjusting your color. There, see that's now they're kind of, I'm adding white, the same color. I'm going over it with a bit of more white because it's drying dark. There. Now I have trees in the back that are more of a hint. And all of this will look way better, much better once we start putting the real trees in the front. You know, you're, you're looking at this right now and you're thinking it looks awful or it doesn't look right or whatever. But once we put the stuff in the front, in the front, like this, the real trees and the architectural detail, all of this will look secondary. So yeah, I keep adjusting. I'm adjusting the value. Now I know that I'm getting closer to the steeple right here. And I see that once I start getting close to those, to the steeple, I'm gonna get a bit more blues in there with the trees right here. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna increase the amount of my blues. The cerulean blue in here. And I'm gonna put a bit of green in it too because they are trees, but they're kind of darker trees in there. I still can't touch this. this. So if I take my Yeah, that looks great. see the greens in here and then we'll go to darker greens and blues and when the steeple comes in it would just anchors everything 
so this is good next week next week or or i could you know next tomorrow i'll do a small um demo and i'll upload it so we can just kind of finish the background so next week we can work on the foreground i'll just upload a a, a demo of how i'm going to glaze this part if we can't do it tonight because it's still sticky I know for sure that this is going to look fantastic once we put the stuff in the front. Good. Okay, so I applied, I had to wait for the paint to dry and I applied a layer of clear gesso. So the clear gesso it is giving me a, a kind of a gritty top, uh, surface and it seals the color underneath. So I don't have to worry about it. I have to wait for it to dry long. Like I shouldn't be working right now, but I, I I'm gonna try because I can't wait. I don't wanna wait. So I have clear gesso again. Um, I put a bit of clear gesso. I'm just gonna put some here now. Uh, no, 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 no. I'll take it and put it here on a palette next to me. I'm going to take blue, purple, and you can, can you see what I'm doing? It's right here. It's all messy right now, but a bit of white. And clear gesso is giving me now a beautiful kind of glaze. Soft, oh. soft glaze. So with this soft glaze that I have here with my brush, I can clean it up a bit. I'm gonna go from, push this away from up, down. And that is gonna be Giving, see us how soft and beautiful. If this is really completely dry, it's much easier to do. Even if I take a bit of white right now, push, put it, put it in that blue. See how how easy it is now. It's beautiful. It's it blends. It's soft. It's a glaze, it's not harsh, and I can control it better. I can control the color um, and I can go over it. So now I like if I go down to where the, the forest we were working on, I'm, I'm putting a bit more, this is really, I'm pushing now. Uh, not now I mean pushing, I mean, I'm, I'm, I shouldn't be doing this because it's not dry yet, but going down here if it's completely dry it's much better if i do this when it's completely dry so i'm going to take a bit more more white and with my blue and i'm pushing in if you really like your don't use a good brush because it, this this type of thing would re ruin your brush. Mm -hmm. This is not working very well because everything is still wet. But if I wait uh, longer, late until tomorrow, and apply a layer of glaze, um, maybe a smaller brush, and just go over, it'll be better. Um, I got a smaller brush. Let's see. Let's see if I can do it with this. I'm using the corner of my brush, and I'm just gonna go in blue, purple, 
glaze, glaze. So how everything is being now, everything is so soft. It looks much, much, much better. So glaze, that everything, even if I put green, because I'm glazing, And that's exactly what I wanted, but I had to wait. But you're not glazing everything, right? You're leaving some greens to show through? Yeah, some some greens, some... It will dry darker too. I mean, with this, by the way, with the clear gesso, uh, it dries darker. The, the paint, the paint will dry darker. It looks like it's creamy white stuff, but it's not, it will dry darker you could leave a bit showing through you could go over uh, because it's a glaze it's not going to cover completely what you've done underneath it's 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 transparent what i'm putting right now is transparent so it, it, try it. It, it the best thing to do is try because that's the only way for you to to know to to uh, you know to really experience what i'm trying to say Um, again, I think you could do this. Like I, this this um, painting of the trees in the back, uh, the 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 one I showed you, I did about five layers of glazing. So all of that harsh line I had over there is gone, and I can push up with my. You know, take green, mix it with my blue, put with with a glaze, and just go over like that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. And my trees will be so soft in the back. Hint of trees, hint of greenery in there, but it's so soft because of the glaze. There, I don't have a harsh line anymore. That's why I was trying to show you before that even if we put a dark, harsh line, we put layers, we put anything in there, it doesn't matter. Once we start the glazing, and you, you probably, you could do the glazing without putting anything else. You start with glazing like that. But I like to start with something instead of just glaze. I like to start with a color or, or a bunch of colors and then and then glaze them because otherwise it looks it would look kind of too light too, you know so again some blue with glaze purple greens glaze now once it's dry this layer is dry i would go back i don't have to glaze the whole thing i just want to make sure that this part where it meets the top top part is is soft I'm going to add more white now. And it's, I'm still glazing. And hopefully, I can do this without lifting anything. I'm really pushing right now. I shouldn't be doing that, like I mentioned before, but it's OK. This is all we have to do. It's just make sure that all of this is soft glaze. And like I mentioned before, once we put the, this is getting better. Once we start putting the, uh, the, the we're, we're working on the back background right now. Um, once we start putting on the foreground, all of this will not look, uh, all of this will look softer and it won't look that important.
Perfect. I mean, it's, it's just making the whole thing so soft. Just a bunch of colors that are really soft. Look at this. This is, I got rid of the, uh, the, the harsh lines that I had before. And it's looking much, much better. So I'm just going to add a bit of, and it will dry darker. If you, if you see that this is kind of too light, that's okay. It will dry darker. Okay. I'm going to let it dry. And then I would add a bit of more white with the glaze on top, but clear gesso is better when it's on a completely dry surface. So I would use white and purple and clear gesso and then push some clouds, white clouds or purple kind of down here and that let it go. That's it, leave it. We could have done this from the beginning, but it, it, yes, we could. But the play of color will would have been stronger, bigger, harsher if we do it without kind of starting with darks and then adding lights slowly, glazing the lights over, light color slowly over. Um, this texture that you see in here, that soft, soft texture is, is like this because I, we had the harsh colors, the stronger texture underneath first. 